Hey there, I'm James, one of the co-founders of Vorpal Board, and today I'm joined by Thad, who is our manufacturing guru and our D&D community lead. Thad, how's it going? Hey, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is to roll beautiful 3D dice inside Vorpal Board when you're playing D&D online, but we're also going to cover how you can build your own custom dice as part of your online game. Um, and then finally, Thad is going to show you some of the creations he's made in the tool for his D&D games that he uses when he plays online. So at the beginning of all of our videos, we, we like to talk about what makes Vorpal Board unique versus other virtual tabletops or VTTs out there in the space. A lot of people have dice rolling. Um, ours are really nice three-dimensional polyhedrals that roll across the screen. But very, very importantly, we built Vorpal so that the dice results land at exactly the same time for all the players. And it creates some amazing moments playing remotely. Everybody gets to see the results, just tipping over to roll a natural one or a natural 20, and you have a lot of fun rolling dice together digitally. All right, so we're gonna show you how quick and easy it is to set all this stuff up. And we're gonna take you through some basic examples and then some more advanced examples and show you what uh, the system is capable of. So let's get going. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the standard out-of-the-box polyhedrals that Vorpal Board has when you start any game session. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going to open up what we call the dice drawer by clicking on this die icon in the top left corner. And then you'll see that right out of the gate, we have all of the standard polyhedrals, your D4, D6, all the way up to D20, in addition to a D100, which I'll show in a second. And what I can do is I can actually roll these dice just by clicking on any of them. So you can see I rolled a d12 there. Or I can actually add these dice to my hotbar to make it easier to roll lots of them. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly just add all to my hotbar. And then I'll close the dice drawer. And over on the left-hand side, you can see now all these standard dice are on my hotbar, which makes them very easy to roll um, individually or roll in multiples. So what I'm going to do just as a demo is I'm going to increase this d20 up to five of them, and I'm gonna roll some and Thad's gonna roll some. So we'll see how that looks. So as you can see, the dice are color-coded to our player colors. That's how everything works by default. And then along the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we get the sum of the most recent roll. It'll tell you who rolled it, and then it'll tell you individually how many die were rolled and what the total was. Additionally, you see a history of recent rolls on the left-hand side here, so you can see our recent rolls, and they'll pile up as we're rolling. And then if you needed to dig even further, you could actually open the dice drawer again, and you'll see a more detailed history. So this will tell you which player rolled, uh, what their total was, and what the value was for each of the individual dice that they rolled. So if it was a d6 plus d20, you'd be able to see that inside the, the dice drawer itself. Now, the final thing that I'm going to demo is a D100, and the math for the D100 is using the 5E rules, and I'm just going to go ahead and roll a D100, and you'll see the two die, and in this case, I rolled a 74. I was hoping to roll 100 and catch it on Come camera. On, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, 93. Okay, pretty good. Um, and so it, using these standard polyhedrals, you can go a long way. You can play a lot of games, obviously, just rolling these dice. But then the next thing that we want to show you is how to take it a step further, start to customize those dice, either customizing their color or customizing the faces or customizing the way that the, the values uh, display as well as some. So that's the next thing that we're going to get into, the dice builder. All right, so now let's jump into how you customize dice in Vorpal Board. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the dice builder. And in this interface, we're able to change the color of die. You can change what the dice faces are. For this first part of the demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new die. I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to create a D6. I'm going to name this die Video Die. It's going to be a D6. And then I can change the dice color to whatever I want. I'm going to make a green, kind of a greenish blue die. And then I can change the fill color, which is going to change the text. And let's make that red. I think that maybe a little bit of a darker red. There we go. All right, so also I have a checkbox here that would let me change the results of how this die is going to display to show as an image instead of a number. We'll show you how that works a little bit later, but just remember that that's an option. At this point, I wanna show you what it looks like. So I have my new die and I'm gonna hit save and close. 
once all my dice have saved. Just like with the standard dice, your new custom dice are going to be located in the dice drawer. So I'm gonna expand the dice drawer. And in the dice drawer, I could page through all of the dice that are available on my account, but I also can search. So I'm just gonna search based on the die that I created. I created video die, and then I'm going to add it to the hotbar. And then once I've added this die to the hotbar, you'll see it just added right here at the bottom. And I'm gonna add a bunch of them and I'm gonna roll them. And there they are. They're kind of ugly, <laughs> so, <laughs> a little bit ugly, but um, okay. So, so that, that's your, your basic starter customization. You can change the color of die. You can change the actual color of the text that's on the die faces, and that will override the standard dice coloring. So it won't color anymore based on my user color. It will color based on what I customize the color to be. But let's say you want to take it a little bit further. So I'm going to jump back into the dice builder. And I'm actually gonna show you a die that I built earlier. It's called the Skull Die. And the Skull Die, I've made some further customizations. You can see that it's a black die, it has white text, um, but I've added a, a skull and crossbones. So the Dice Builder allows you to upload icons. You can upload SVG icons to actually change what's on the faces. And even further, you can customize the color of those icons however you like. So I'm going to actually change this skull and crossbones to be red. And you can see that my skull and crossbones went from being green to being red. The same thing applies to every face on all these dice. So if I you know, select the four, I could come in here and change this to a text side. I could change what the values are on this face. I could change it to other text values if I chose, um, but I also can change the color of the face. So you can, to your heart's content, you can change individual faces, you can change their values, you can change their colors, and you can even upload your own icons. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Once my dice have saved, uh, the same deal, I'm gonna drive right into the dice drawer and I'm gonna search for my skull die. I'm gonna add this to my hotbar. And then you can see my skull dies down here at the bottom. I'm gonna add a bunch of these. And why not? Let's roll the video die and the skull die at the same time. And some D20s. I, I got a whole mess of dice <laughs> rolling there. Um, so you can see that my skull die is the black one in there. My video die is the green one. And then I have some D20s on top of it. And I was able to build those dice using a user interface in a minute. Um, and the nice thing is that once you build these dice, they are available to all of your players. Uh, anyone with a host subscription is able to customize their dice, but any player who joins a game that you've created is able to roll those custom dice. So what we're going to show you next is how Thad has built a whole host of dice that are specific to his characters, specific to the campaigns he's running, and then he's able to use those online with the players that he has in his games. All right, so now we're going to get into how we use some of these custom dies to actually play D&D Online in Vorpa Board. Uh, first one we'll cover is our player-specific uh, D20s. So if I'm going to roll uh, my hit die, I created this one for our friend Nate Taylor over at Dorven Forge. Uh, it's his favorite color is purple um, with, with some nasty-looking green. Uh, we changed the color, but then we also changed what the face value is for the natural 20. So we changed it to a Dwarven Forge anvil icon. So that one's pretty fun and simple. Another thing that I'll do is uh, if I summon a creature, I've got a rogue who's got the ability to summon a pair of dire wolves. Uh, I created a custom white die for my white dire wolf that has the face of a wolf on it. Of course, it didn't show up. We roll it again. There we go. Um, so that's the natural 20 value is that wolf face. And it's just really simple, a white die with, with black text. Something really quick and easy for me to pick up and have some fun with as a player. Another really common thing is to change the color and the SVGs, so the max values on some of your damage die. So again, going back to my rogue, I can do some poison damage or uh, one of my other characters has a blood spear. So I made some fun die for that. Uh, the blood spear rolls D8. Um, that are red with a spear, obviously is the max value. And then on my poison die, I'll try rolling those again. Um, you can see I have those skull and crossbones that James was showing earlier on the face of the D8. So it's poison damage. Just a fun way to add a little bit of flair to your character. Um, and again, super simple to do. Next we have our death saves die. And just on principle, I don't load this in 
to my hot bar. I leave it in the dice drawer until it's time to roll it, just from a karma standpoint. Uh, but when you do need to roll it, uh, it's it's in there. Uh, like James said, we have you can build in the face values. So I took the 5e rule set and changed the values of each of these faces uh, to correspond to the 5e rules. So I just rolled a negative one, roll it again, uh, another negative one. I failed two death saves, Ooh. and uh, I almost rolled the max death save. But at this point, I rolled three failures, and my character's toast. What we'll also show here, James, if you can pop up in your dice drawer, this particular die is set to display the die face values, right? I mean, I have the total in there of a minus one or a plus one, but it's also important to see that I got three red skulls recently uh, so that I know that I've failed three death saves. You can also see, too, that it's my character color blue, so I know that it was me that rolled the death saves failures. All right, and the last one we have, it's kind of just for fun, and that's actually what I call this die uh, for fun, is, is a die that has nothing but SVGs on it. And you can get totally crazy with these. Some of these have SVGs with gradients in them. Uh, you might be wondering why the heck I would ever do this. Sometimes it's fun just for a mechanic to have like a literal flip of a coin sort of thing in your game. Uh, you can also play some fun uh, tavern games with dice like this and just make some goofy stuff. Um, you know, this one has some poop emoji icons on it or fireball. Uh, it also gives you kind of a feel for the variety of all the different things that you can play around with and customize your own dice. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that overview of standard and custom die inside Vorpal Board. Um, be sure to check out the rest of our series of videos on playing D&D online um, using the system. And if you have any questions about how things work or other capabilities that the system has, for sure check us out at vorpalboard.com. Uh, Thad, thanks, and see y'all later. See ya.